Matt with Bags Unlimited. Today I want to show you how to do some minor repairs and properly protect this classic Iggy and the Stooges album. As you can see, the jacket is in okay condition. It was obviously stored without any protective sleeve. The disc is in good condition and it was stored in a round bottom polyethylene sleeve. This is an original pressing and still has the original paper art sleeve inside. It just has some minor damage which I will address later. The album jacket has the most common form of damage for older unprotected jackets, mashed corners. The cardboard has separated and the seam is beginning to split. I am going to repair the corner using our BU acid free adhesive and apply it with a micro spatula. You need to be patient and apply very little glue between each layer of cardboard. Don't let the glue build up or pool between the layers. This type of damage only occurs on the old style of record jacket. When producing jackets like this one, the artwork is printed on thin paper which is then applied to folded cardboard to form the jacket. While the thick cardboard actually provides better protection for the vinyl inside, the jacket itself is more prone to damage like split seams and mashed corners. Now I am going to use a scrap paper to keep the two sides separate while I flatten the corner with a bone folder. The bone folder is the best tool for manipulating paper. It can flatten or crease without scratching or gouging the artwork. Now I will set it down, weight it, and let it dry for a couple of hours. I'm back, and the jacket is dry. As you can see, the corner layers are now bonded, but still flexible. You can see the seam is just beginning to split, but not enough to warrant a major repair. Better to just use a sound sleeve to protect it. Let's move on to the inner sleeve. One thing that makes this record collectible is that it's a first pressing. Since only first pressings usually include an art sleeve, this sleeve is important and warrants a minor repair. I'm going to use BU's document mending tissue to repair this tear and help prevent it from getting worse. After flattening out the paper, I'll apply a small piece to the inside of the sleeve. Using the bone folder to smooth it out, the tear is nearly invisible. Now with the repair done, it is time to prepare Iggy for storage. First I want to upgrade the inner sleeve to a polyline paper sleeve. This provides excellent protection for the record, but resists bunching and crumping like pure poly sleeves tend to do. Next I want to use a Sound Sleeves SPP LP1234R to protect and display the cover. BU's polypropylene sound sleeves are crystal clear with a resealable flap. A great choice to make your album covers really stand out. And there it is, another fine addition to my album collection. Now that's a well-protected record album.